please be advised that no zombies were harmed during the making of this pitch. Good afternoon, Dragons. Um, my name's Roy Fitter, and I'm the owner-founder of Ram Training Limited. Ram Training is a small company based in the Midlands, and we specialise in delivering fast-paced, very visceral, first-person horror events. We have Zombie Boot Camp, The Asylum, Zombie Boot Camp After Dark, and Wolfmen, which is a werewolf survival experience. 25,000 people have now turned up at our site and done one or more of these events. What we're currently looking for today is to look at developing the company by forming a, a new part of the business, and it's to develop one or two satellite sites in the United Kingdom over the next two to three years. And we're looking for £80,000 for 20% of the equity. Dragons, thank you very much for listening to my short pitch, and I'll be happy to take any questions. A spine-tingling entrance from Roy Fitter, who is pitching for £80,000 in return for a 20% stake in a new offshoot of his horror role-playing business. Sarah Willingham wants to find out exactly what his customers can expect. Roy, that was horrifying very real. So what, I, I, I still can't quite picture what people are booking, if you see what I mean. So, so let's say I've got Hendu and there's 10 girls. What are we paying for? What we do is put you in a position that you are a member of the public and you've been brought in by the military to be trained. You go through a clearance of a building. All of this site is all laid out in individual uh, scenarios. Roy is offering the paying public a chance to take on his army of fake zombies. But battling the undead is clearly not everyone in the den's cup of tea. Roy, I've never been into horror. I'm much more of a gentle, romantic person. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, tell us what your ideal uh, booking would be and what, would, and what would somebody pay for it? 85% of my clients are stag groups, and then we are seeing an increase in um, hem parties. On average, a customer pays £78 per person, and most sales are for groups of 12 to 16 persons. OK, what's your turnover? What we sold in 2015, on predicted sales on what we've got in our order book, we've made sales of £284,000. It costs us £200,000 to run the current company, it gives us a net figure um, before corporation tax of £84,000. Roy's existing zombie business is very much alive and kicking. But Sarah Willingham wants to find out more about his planned subsidiary. The satellite, so we talk about this new company, why is that different from what you do at the moment? Okay. What we've been asked over the past few years is when the customer's done our existing overnight packages, they keep asking, is there a way to have a more intimate evening scenario event? So what we're looking at for the satellite site is a secluded farmhouse. And the difference is, is that you're actually def defending the property oh, against okay. the, werewolves. the werewolves. It allows us to bring more technology into the buildings and, and, and add more flavour. 
So why don't you do this as part of your current business? It sounds like the obvious extension. I'm absolutely happy with the team that we can plan, we can execute these events. But what I'm not happy with is the ability to, to take new projects on and, and, and grow them. However, I am convinced that with the right tutorage, I can take and do something equally as good and equally as profitable. That's the reason I'm standing, standing here today. So you're saying that our investment today will not involve RAM? No. You want to start a brand new business? Yes. Why? It's my, it's, it's, it's my, my and my son's future is what we currently do with the, with the business. So you want me to take the risk of a new business while you and your son can stand up in the Bahamas? Is that what you're saying? Well, I suppose that's one way of putting it, yes. Yeah. So you want me to take my money for my children, should we say, to give to you, for you and your children. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Are you all right? By offering only the new part of his business up for investment, Roy has irked the dragons. And Peter Jones wants to get to the bottom of this unusually structured deal. I don't know whether you are as naive as you're coming across. You talk to us about a business which you've run and set up for many years, you're making good money, and then you say, but actually I just want you to do something very similar and I want you to give me some money. And also I want you to help me try and do that because I don't really know how to do it. Are we, am I missing something? You know, standing here now, you know, I feel kind of foolish. And I can see all you looking at me going, well, the pitch wasn't correct, was it? If I could walk out of those doors and march back in tomorrow morning, I probably would do. Roy, if you did walk out of here and you don't do anything with, with any of us, you've actually got a nice business. I may well be a customer. You've actually given me a great idea for my husband's next birthday. It'll be an awesome weekend. But in its current form, the, the separation of the two, it's just not investable. So I'm afraid on that basis, I'm out. From what you're saying, if people are booking way ahead, you're taking deposits, yes? Yes. You must have cash in hand. Yes. I believe you've got the money in the business. You can look forward and you can build this business up yourself. So I'm, I'm going to give you the chance to make more money on your own because I'm not going to invest in you. So I'm out. Four dragons are now out. Is Peter Jones poised to hammer the final nail in the coffin? This is the first time that blood has been spilt in the den. And be it that my fellow dragons have had an issue with perhaps trying to put this together and they think it's slightly unfair, I, I don't. I'm going to make you an offer. But I want the business that you currently run. So I'm going to offer you all of the money, £80,000, for 30% of RAM training and this new subsidiary. Thank you. The advice has been absolutely sound and makes total sense. It's just that I have to go back and sit down and talk to my wife. I'm being honest, you know, my wife's me, me wingman. But I've got the loyalties there and I can't just say yes when she says no. And is your wife waiting in the lift? No, she's not waiting in the lift. She's not a zombie. Um, she's at home doing the housework. She's going to kill you for saying uh, that. So, you know, <laughs> what, what, you know the wife is not, you know, not searching to say no. It's just that. Roy, uh, 
I own a company called Red Letter Days, and we do some of these events. I think this is huge. This is massive in the States. And I think it's becoming bigger over here every minute. And I will give you the support of my people. They will be behind you. And also, we will clearly push it and give you the profile to millions of people up and down the country. Roy, well, I'm going to have to push you whether you... Are you telling oh, I'm it? afraid I can't make that decision today. Roy, on that basis, I'm going to have to declare myself out. Unwilling to pull rank on his other half, Roy must depart with nothing. For visitors to the den, unlike the undead, there can be no second chances. Iron Sight is an expensive commodity. If I could watch that rewind and come back tomorrow, then yes, I would have come in a completely different pitch, but what's happened, happened. Should we clean up the blood? <laughs> no, let's leave the blood on the floor <laughs> for the next person who comes in. <laughs> That's a great idea.